Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing wonderfully well. Today we're going to try and do two of your requests in one video because they're a similar topic. The first request is could A10 Thunderbolt 2s donated from America be used by Ukraine on the front line? Is it possible? Can we simulate it? Secondly, recently provided by France to Ukraine are the AASM Hammer powered bombs. Hammer stands for Highly Agile Modular Munition Extended range basically powered jdams how could ukraine use these weapons so today we've merged it into one 2024 how could ukraine use a10 thunderbolt 2 and aasm hammer against frontline positions so let's start with the a10 it's a brilliant close air support platform proved in many conflicts but in a way it's a glass cannon because it can only operate effectively if it has air superiority which they do not have against russia let's explain our position here here is a one-to-one -one map of crimea ukraine russia the flot here in yellow and the official border here in red Let's start with Russian positions. Today's target, guys, is along the flot here. This is the front line of conflict. Along that flot, between 5 and 10 miles back, are 40 artillery positions doing lots of damage on the Ukrainian lines. That is target one. Target two is further back, 20 to 40 miles, seven command centers. So up to 40 artillery pieces and seven command centers. Today, we're going to try and use the A-10s to destroy these. But, of course, there are a myriad of Russian defenses. First, up against the flot are interlinked close-range IR SAMs in the form of either man pads here, range up to about three miles, or a mechanized variant, the Strailer. You can see rough range rings here in red, and you'll see them on your maps today, guys, just to help you out. Defending 15 miles back from the flot are the medium range SAMs. They are going to be SA-11s and SA-17 Buk and Buk Ms with an average effective range of about 25 miles. And you can see the range rings here, here, here and here. Then to cover the medium range SAMs, there are the long range SAMs. In this case, we've got S-400 with the 48N series of missiles here in Crimea and here with a range of these missiles of about 160 miles. You can see that covers the entire flot and probably 60, 70 miles into Ukraine positions. Then the next layer, everything is protected by this guy here, AWACS. He is scanning the ground or and sky and sea. If he finds Ukrainian targets, he will scramble Russian interceptors, which will come and shoot them down. So what I'm trying to point out here is that the front line is very well protected. If you don't get shot down by the close range strailers and man pads, then you get shot down by the books and book M's. If you don't get shot down by them, you get shot down by the S-400. If you don't get shot down by the S-400, you get spotted by the AWACS and you get hit by the interceptors. So we need to find a plan of removing or dealing with all of these defenses. I should say, first thing, uh, please ignore this stuff over here in Russia. I'll explain that in a bit. So, guys, what we're going to do is this. First, we've moved a Patriot site 40 miles from the flot. That is pretty close and it's dangerous, but we need to do it for this mission to work. What that does is it removes the Russian interceptors. The Patriot has been proved many times in Ukraine and Russian interceptors slash fighters will not operate in that Samnet. So that removes the first problem. The second problem is the AWACS, which links all of this together. What we're going to do is move electronic warfare jamming ground units around the Patriot, or should I say nearer, the flot here, which will reduce the range of the A-50 AWACS two already of which have been suckered in closer and shot down one about here in the north sea of azov and one about here so that removes our second problem the next problem is the long range sams they're kept much further back obviously they've got the s400s here and here and again ukraine have shown that they can knock these out maybe not destroy them permanently but put them out of action for weeks or months in fact both this one and this one have actually been hit by ukrainian drone attacks along with uh, european missiles so that's how we're taking the s400 out which leaves the medium range sams and the the short range, the short range ir sams so this is how we're going to deal with that today we are going to move in two su-27 p1ms here they are going to be armed with and all this is operating in real life in ukraine uh, american provided agm 88 c harms anti-radiation missiles they will get to this steer point 
here, split, and one will orbit here, and one will orbit here. They are waiting for radiation shown off by the Buk and Buk M's, the medium range uh, radar guided sites here. And if they do illuminate their radars, they will shoot the harms at them. They're going to suppress those SAMs for about 20 minutes. So that removes the Buk's from the equation. Now we can start doing some attack. The first line of attack is this, guys. We start here about, uh, what's that, about 70 miles back. The first couple of A-10s today will be AI flown, equipped with these. Brand new missiles supplied by Mr. Mousseau Macron from France. He, in the last few days, has supplied AASM hammers of various kilo variants. What they are is a bolt-on accessory kit that you can add to existing dumb bombs, Mark 82s, Mark 83s, whatever, even uh, cluster bomb munitions that involves a uh, uh, guidance kit here and a power guidance kit at the back, very similar to American JDAM. But the main difference between Hammer and JDAM is that they have a rocket booster on the back, which boosts the range from the JDAM's 15 or so miles to about 40 miles. Well, that said, if you were launching it high and fast from a big fighter, about 40 miles from an A-10, we're going to max out at about 20 miles. So they will fire, if all works, seven hammers, each knocking out a bunker. Then they'll RTB and land. And then finally comes us the humans we will have a mixture of a10 variants with a mixture of weapons and we'll go through that in a minute we can't use the hammers in dcs we have to use older weapons laser guided bombs mavericks stuff like that and these are weapons that presumably would be given to ukraine if they did get the thunderbolt too our job guys is to take out the artillery which is doing so much damage to the ukrainian front lines but there are restrictions we cannot stop the man pads we cannot stop the strailers so wherever you see these range rings basically what i'm trying to say is if you go past the front line the flock you're going to get shot by ir sams effective up to about twenty thousand feet next problem i know what you're going to say well let's just operate above the strailers and the man pads at twenty five thousand feet and a10 could just about do that but then comes the next problem the russian medium range sams which have been pacified you remember the books and the book m's uh, they're not going to turn their radars on i can tell you that now because they're going to get shot by the su 27s but they have a reversion they have what's called an optical reversion which means if you get within about 10 miles of them a much reduced range they can still fire at you optically it's a very effective way of them doing it. it doesn't use their radar so even if you do operate over the flot very high there's a very good chance you're going to get shot by optically reverted sam so my suggestion is to just stay our side of the flot uh, there is one important thing viewers it, because it's a ground attack mission we need to simulate the ground the ground is not simulated in this part of ukraine it's literally just flat grass so what i've done is i've taken a snapshot of this area here i've copied it and pasted it over here where we have terrain trees houses uh, rivers and stuff like that it's basically exactly the same so i won't go over it i've added a few waypoints in because i that's just the ai that i need to do uh, to use their weapons guys so just to very quickly reiterate the su-27s will go in and they will pacify the medium range sams the s-400s are already out by drone attack the interceptors are out for the reasons that we talked about before with the patriot which is in today the a-10s ai will go in and drop their hammers on the command centers and then we clear up we look for and we take out the artillery without going over the flot and the last thing to look at is our loadouts today uh, there are six of us cap grump push simba firefly hello boys Good hello, hello. hello right. boys uh, i'm going to start with simba you're going to have six mavericks the older air to ground guided missiles you're going to have a whole load of these guys laser guided rockets super cheap and i think ukraine's already operating them uh, you're going to have these guys here jdams uh, gps ins guided bombs the american equivalent of kind of the hammer that we saw earlier um he's going to have a teapod for guiding most of it in he's going to have sidewinders even though there are going to be no uh, combatants today but for realisms and a jammer pod here which might help him in case he gets targeted by radars then we move on to the a10a uh, so no we don't we move on to push push is exactly the same any comment push just that the uh, apk ws is probably not that much utility for us today no right because here's the thing viewers this maverick the cool thing about the maverick is it's fire and forget you fire and then you turn away and avoid being shot apk ws you can't really do that because you have to continue lazing it with your teapot here all the way to the target not only is that difficult to do but you know avoiding incoming missiles that is going to be 
terrible, but that's that's the problem for the boys. Then uh, the A ver variants, which doesn't even exist anymore, views, but some of us just haven't had time to learn the C if I intended to, but life got in the way, I'm afraid. So I'm resorting to an old A model, which is super simple. I've got Mavericks and a couple of Sidewinders, um, and that's it. And so have the other boys. Stand by. All right, boys, we better start heading off. Please get to steer point one, where hopefully if everything works, we will meet the AI guys. Off we go. I'm not sure I gave you enough road. You guys are real heavy. Yeah, you worry too much, Cap. I do worry, Grump. And hello, by the way, Grump. Hello, Cap. We don't, we don't have Grump Nick today? Long time no see. Oh, yeah, where did you bring him? Ah. We, we, uh, we, 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 too much we effort. don't like for foot. Effort sucks, guys. This is a Western jet, boys. It is a Western jet. Yeah, Grump yeah, Grump only plays a Western thing, right? Yep. I tried flying a Su-33 yesterday and remembered why I don't like flying Eastern Jets. Huh. Um, this is not just made up, viewers. Um, the Ukrainian military has requested A-10 Thunderbolt 2s from America. Will they get them? I don't know. I mean, they requested F-16s about five years ago by the feel of it, and they never got them, so I don't know. I've seen them practicing on uh, DCS with them. Uh, they've been practicing on DCS. Well, <laughs> why not, Chief? Great plane, but the problem is, like I said, viewers, it's very vulnerable tactically because, well, as I've tried to show you here, the front lines are very well defended. So you've got to take a lot of American, sorry, a lot of Russian defense out of the equation to make an A-10 any use. You can kind of see why it's going to be replaced by F-35 and whatnot, because it doesn't need air superiority per se. Um, Simba, distance from, or anyone distance from steer point one, I'm, I'm incredibly rusty. Uh, Nine found, miles. Yep, just found my HSI. Right, I guess we're going to wait there until AI men turn up. I think I said it men. And the monetizer. What did he say? What did he say? God, these planes sound so amazing. Oh, I'm not a fan. It sounds just like an airliner because yeah. it is an airliner engine. Uh, it sounds a lot different when they're coming at, uh, past you at about 50 feet off the ground. I'll give you that. I've never seen that, bro. Uh, 240, but it's going down because I'm in a climb. Roger, I think the AI are meeting yep. us at 6,000, guys. So 6,000, please. Max altitude of an A-10 with stores is probably about 25,000 feet. They're just not powerful enough to go higher. As well as that, the high bypass ratio turbofan engine gets really inefficient high up. So it's not a high performer. Where the heck are you guys? There you are. I'm off some of right wing. Anyone seen AI dudes? Map today viewers is set to AI only uh, because I didn't want to allow us to cheat by seeing the, uh, the reds, but we can see roughly where they are and the rough lot just to help us out. Yep, I see them. I got yeah. my hemic circles on them. Feel free to stay in formation or break formation or whatever you want to do. Nope, we're good. They're still eight miles. Roger. I'm a bit jealous of the C model today. It's got so much more capability, but got to yeah, be able to remember how to use it. Can't forget the paint scheme. It's all about the paint scheme. The paint scheme, yeah, the digital camo. They're going pretty much underneath us, guys, and I'm in a dive pretty much vertically down, probably about to crash into the ground. In typical Grim Reaper's unprofessional, unrealistic parade formation, I give you AI A10Cs with uh, French hammer missiles and ex Soviet modernized flankers with American harm missiles, all operating. No, they're not operating. They don't have the attempts. Scratch that. Modern battlefield, all Frankenstein stuff. Yeah, it, it really is. It really is, isn't it? It's such an I know war's bad and it obviously and all that stuff, but isn't it an interesting conflict? It's basically now turned into, as far as I can see, World War One artillery conflict with drones. Cheap drones being sent over the top. Um, I'm in formation, by the way. I've got, does anyone need flares? Nope. I'll be able to see them when they cross over. We're just uh, serpentining until you guys overtake. I also apologize. I told you there were 6,000 feet. They're at 500 feet. Uh, so that's my bad, guys. Jesus. Yeah, that's cap messing things up as usual. Oh, there's the boys. Ah. All right, they're passing below us. 
I changed it at the last minute because the whole thing behind this operation view is, is we get a small window of operation when we can shut the enemy medium range sounds down. So I figured we would go in low, then the SU, SU Sukhois would zoom off, pacify the radars, and then we pop up the attack. In case you skip the briefing, uh, viewers, um, France has recently sent uh, armor missiles, bombs, to Ukraine, which have been used. They were used three days ago, I think, for the first time. Um, they are GPS INS guided weapons, like JDAMs, but they have a rocket booster on the back to boost their range up to 40 miles, if fired from very high up. Today's operation, about 20 miles, uh, at a cost of about uh, 300,000 euros per pop. Mix into the formation, right? Careful, high guy at the front. Yeah, you. Talking to me? You talking to me? Use your rules, guys, to stay behind them, or they will go spoofy. Yep, flies echelon left on the flankers. Welcome back. Sea models are in. You guys with your extra realism and grey paint. Who do you think you are? Competent pilots. <laughs> Competent DCS pilots. <laughs> right, brilliant. I guess I walked into that one, right? Mm -hmm. Wait, did you just say DCS pilots and Grim Reapers and competent all at the same time? Yeah, right, guys? No, I just said I just said competent pilots. Nothing about GR. Visual Patriot site on the Nosington. What's with what's with the British and all about these tunnels? I don't know, we love we love tunnels, guys. Barrington, Markington. I can't, can't remember any more tunnels, but we've got loads of them. Hey, we claimed that one. Hmm. We'll take, we, we took that one away from you, Hamilton. Right. That's a guy. That was a guy, wasn't it? Yeah. Richard <laughs> Hamilton. No, that's Top Gear. Someone else. I forgot. <laughs> that Richard Hammond? That's Richard Hammond. Hammond, Richard Hammond. Yeah. Right. Man, I want to be Richard Hammond we, we, right now. We, yeah, we, right. We're talking about that um, sometimes very annoying British F1 racing. Yeah. Need to say legend. You know, you remember Top Gear and the Grand Tour and all that stuff. I'm sure you guys know what I mean. They go on cool adventures. Wouldn't it? We could do that. We could do that. Yeah. Someone, what are we going to do that, Cap? Viewers, someone fund us. There must be some big producers watching us. I highly doubt that. Who want to fund yeah, us to do BBC. that? We'll be great at that. We're not politically correct enough for that, I'm afraid. Um, but we'll find up. <laughs> all right. For anyone that likes Patriot, and I'm a fan, uh, I give you Patriot. Get ready to turn right. About 60 degrees. Roger, Simba. Follow the A10s. The A10s I'm interested in. Obviously, you won't keep up with the Sukhois. Show a force over the Patriots. Show a force over the Patriots. Interesting. I don't know if you've heard, uh, but they've just Russia's just knocked out one of the three Patriots. Oh my God! Sukhois off. Oh. That looks great. All right. That looked great. Well, Simba's warning was right. And there we go. Right, just keep up with them. I want to see those hammers, hammering targets. Uh, as I said, one of the three um, Patriots has just been knocked out. The way they did it was, as you know, the Patriot site radar only goes in a 120 mil degree cone. Is that the right word? 120 yes. degree. 120 degree. And they all they did was basically send missiles from both ways, and it, it became, you know, it's defenseless. The one Achilles heel of Patriot, I guess. We trade a uh, trade a Patriot for uh, another one of their AWACS. Yeah. Yeah. Are we down now? The latest variant. Oh, is it three? Yeah. Wow, the third one got bombed up. on the ground. Allegedly. Uh, the, the, I latest Patriot, I'd have to look at it. the latest Patriot radar is 360 degrees, but uh, it's I don't think they have it in Ukraine at the moment. It's kind of hard to keep up, to be honest. And yes, I'm aware I can't keep up with these guys. No, there's nothing I can do about it. Slow RS-A-10. Why are you so slow? What have I done wrong? Uh, you need to put afterburners on this cap. Where's the afterburner D10 button, guys? I forgot. I just send a squirrel out the back and hold the lighter at the exhaust. Huh. You might be able to. If you run it rich, you run it rich, so there's a lot of unburnt fuel, like the MiG-29s, and had a spark plug in there, you could make your own makeshift burner, surely. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's, that's how afterburners work. Ah, right, guys. If you kind of zoom in ahead, you'll see. I see smoke. You'll see smoke. That is roughly depicting the plot, guys. 
So the viewers are going to use their tea pods there. You can see the grey sausage that binds the command centres. Feed that information into the bombs and then send the bombs off. I found a similar group idea on my own. You two talking about your nerdy data link. Any A10Cs managed mm -hmm. to catch up? I don't suppose so. Yeah, right behind you. Huh, there they are. Cap on F1, right? Hello. Uh, we're all going to watch the hammers be fired to begin with, guys, uh, just because it's an inaugural firing in DCS, and then you'll be off the chain to operate. Right, good thing, no Russian radars ahead. I mean, Sukhois are doing their freaking job. And yes, viewers, I know you're all going to want to say, use the gun, use the gun. We can't, it's too dangerous. It's too many Russian defense, sure rad defenses. There will be no gunnery today, guys. Really. Right now, I have our A10 formation in my teapot. Huh. Well, and in IR, it really looks like all oh, it tends to have to burn I yes. love it. I don't know. I feel sorry this mission is taking so long, but frigging A10! Everything takes forever. It's taken 25 hours, viewers, but we are slowly, almost, almost at the plot. Alright, I'm gonna go down the line left a little bit and right, find targets. Up. Right, just remember, I'm only gonna remind you once, remember your discipline, guys. Basically, oh, shit. So you cross over, uh -oh. and you get shot. I'm going to follow the guys going straight on. I don't know if I'm supposed to do, but I am. Yeah, fly moves a bit more to the right. This guy's just gone buster. Why have you gone buster? Come on, fire that hammer. Drop the hammer. Hit the hammer. Whatever you do with the hammer. Oh, oh shit, I missed it. Someone launched one. I was just looking on the map. The hammer away! Ig behind hammer. Rock One on. hammer a day keeps the doctor away. Yep. Oh, turn away from the plot. Remember, I've started you quite close to the plot. Uh, Drop a rifle. You know, at least you. Just watching the hammers going Stimber in. Stimber rifle. Wow, you guys are kicking pop pot already. Second hammer. All right, first Grump rifle. rifle about to do a Grump, thing. Grump, turn back. Grump, turn back. I'm gonna do it, Grump, but I'll pay you enough like to get shot. One RTP's down. Well done, boys. Pop. Yep, splash. Good shot. I got shut down, and uh, I'm out of time. See ya! Bye, Grum. Huh. Really did as well. Oh, no! Yeah. See you guys. Bye, Grum. Bye, Grum. Yeah, finding targets. It will be hard, just as it is in real life. We've got IR sensors, and we're going to use our IR sensors for us, but even so, it's friggin' hard finding. Just remember, You've got time, so just take your time, stay our side of the thing. I'm just watching the hammers blow up some command centers. All right, now that is how you use a friggin' hammer, viewers. One down. If you do get shot down, as it is very possible to be, then um, I suggest sticking around and trying to help other people avoid the dangers. Ah, I can see the blown up command center. Right, so... As I said, their range is about 9 or 10 miles, so expect to find them, I don't know, 3, 4 miles back from the plot, realistically. Has anyone found any? Because I've got absolutely jacked. Yeah. Where the hell are you getting them on the flare rifle? Is there a method that you guys found of finding them? Yeah, I'm using the flare pod. Yeah, I mean, God, so am I, to be honest. I'm using my Maverick, but... Yeah, look about 3 to 4 miles past the plot. Found it. Shoot. Yeah. Shoot. So what I'm doing is I'm putting my teapot on a target, locking up the target with a teapot so that I have a rough position. Mm -hmm. When I swap to the Mav, that teapot position will still be in my HUD, and I can just slew the Mav down to that spot and oh, then no. find it real quick. Did anyone determine the max range of the missile? I'm at seven miles currently. Go for it. Seven. Boom. So Ruh, so right don't use the, the speed method yet. Oh, you guys just blew it up. You sons of bees. Always put smoke down. me. Ah, oh, all right, never mind. Right, you know what? I'm going to deconflict. Go somewhere else on the floor. Viewers, let me know if you see a friggin' bike. Yeah, write in the comments. Yeah, write in the comments if you see it. I found one. But it's dangerously dangerous. I'm just Careful. Come on, come on, give it to me. Come on, I can do it quick. I can do it quick. Don't die, Cap. No one wants to see you die. Shoot. Shoot. I can see it. It's dangerously close. Now I've got it. Fire! 
Yeah! Found a real one that no one else has found. And I'm turning around. Following my missile. Look, it's that one Watch I found. Watch your fuel. Oh god, don't say that. And flare, flare. <laughs> I found one right in the corner of this. Oh, there it is. And I put them kind of out in the open, sort of, but they're still real hard to find. And the only way we're finding them, viewers, is because they're the heat they make. Whereas the sun bounces off their um, metal. Got my first one. Rifle. Right, fuel, you said. Fuel, fuel, fuel. 3 2, is that a lot? I can't. No, we started with 5 8. Alright, half fuel. Found one, turning in. I actually found this one with my eyes. Right, Viewingtons, watch this. Shoot, shoot. Got him. Six miles, go. Rifle. Now, the beautiful thing about this weapon, viewers, is it's far and forget. Smart weapon that uses its own raster or IR mapping image to seek the target. More hammers out. You, sir, are about to get kaput. Four artillery pieces down so far. Rifle. Check. Oh my god, good job I checked there. Wow. Now, time when you forget to put water pilot on. Check. See what else we got here, guys. Right, it's three to four miles, you say. Three to four miles. Oh, I found an actual. The buildings. <laughs> Uh, no, your missiles aren't big enough. Leave it to the hammers. Shoot. Shoot. Yeah, I just can't seem to find the artillery pieces, Hammer. but I found a... Yeah, Roger. About to get jammed. Six down. Three barracks is down. I guess in reality, they wouldn't be stupid enough just to sit there doing nothing. I guess they would know that A-10s were operating and they would all go and hide somewhere, but... You know, there's only so much room to say. Ah, dang it, fly. You've just got one right, right before me. Check the F10 map, see where everyone is. Look, look at the boys actually operating like I asked. Well done, boys. I'm in front of you. It's funny how we've immediately all started doing the same thing. We're all kind of going sideways down the plot, using our sensors and all Mark One eyeballs. I'm having a hard time finding them, but uh, I find them, I got them. Oh, stink! Oh, flyer! Got shot. I down. got too low, but Shoot. I did shack one. Shoot. No, actually, I, I lost control of the aircraft. Huh. Um, right, there you go. Did something stupid. Two eight tens down. Nine artillery pieces down. Right, four. Ah, four. Oh, nice. In the exact same second, someone destroyed. I'm out of missiles. That's the bad thing about the A-10A. I just haven't got enough standoff weapons, so I'm going to just go back a bit and loiter, and I will watch you guys do stuff. Push. Oh. Yeah. I was just, I just saw Three you, I was like, you need to do 180. We've lost Poosh, we've lost Fire, and we've lost, who was it? Or Grump. Oh dear. I got in close, and then I turned hard, and I stalled my wing and dropped, dropped to the ground. That's what I did. We fired 19 missiles so far with those 19. We've only taken out 10 targets. That's weird. Oh no, we've taken out 14 targets, sorry. Um, would it matter if their targets were moving viewers? Not at all. It would be just as easy to hit them. Not with this bomb here. But with the Mavericks, they would quite easy, just as easily hit a moving target. Rifle. Roger Simba, check your locality to the flop. Yep. Uh, I'm right on the flat line. Yep. All right. He's, quick, that's, he's safe. Quick flare. you got so many flares. Just bang, bang your flare button. Just, uh, you know what missile ranges are like. They can vary with various parameters. All right, Simba, what did you get? You got a artillery piece. If you really can't find any guys, it's probably because they've been destroyed in that area of the plot, in which case move north or south or west or east on the plot. They're all on the east side. East side. Got no one barracks remaining. Roger. I'm just watching the guy go in with the hammer. Drop that hammer, sir. Right, the last one's out on the uh, building and the uh, two AI. A-10 to RTB, but you guys carry on for a bit. 22 missiles fired, 17 targets destroyed. Oh, I can see one from your screen, Fly. I wish I could tell you where that is, but I can't find a way doing it. Only one way to find out. Right, be careful. Turn around, Fly. Yeah. Why is no one pressing the flare button today? And that tank, Elector 2. 
shot. Receive. 18 targets down. And hammer's about to drop. Bump. Last command post down. Check an overview. Uh, come on, get me in the range. Rifle. Rifle. Magnum. Times two. Tim has got some magnum. Oh, sorry. Nope, not magnum. Rifle. Roger. Rifle. Oh, the boys are hotting up. And you know me, viewers, I love a pair of hot boys. Hey, now we show that Cap was wrong to give us more ammunition or mm -hmm. not. It was rolling in, boys. 714. Uh, I can't even do that in my head. What is that? 22. 27 missiles fired. 22 destroyed. Ooh wee. Fuel. 2,000. Ooh, we can't stay much longer, guys. Fuel checks, boys. 2,000. 700. 1,700. 1,700. Alright, five minutes on the station, and then, of course, we need fuel to get home. Don't do it, fly. It's not worth it. We've got plenty to live for. We need Grim Reaper's war games to play in. Flares, more flares, more flares, more flares. That's why they give you 500 or whatever. A10 needs a rear or a wizard in the back just to tell the pilot not to lose focus. <laughs> yeah. It's actually a thing sometimes with me, Cap. My, my, my buddy is always screaming, Hey, don't, don't! Mm. Forming that fear is a problem. And Pang, you weren't happy with destroying it, you decided you had to atomize it. I mean, one of the problems is, guys, we've destroyed so many in this part that there's just not many to find. What's your fuel fly? 1500. I think it's that time, guys. One minute to clean up your attack, and then we've got to go, guys. Because there's no point in doing this if you can't even make it back. Uh, vector home, someone, please. 278 for 48 miles. 278. Roger. Think. Cap bus. Correction, 27. 271. What'd you say max range of this thing's gonna be? I've hit them at seven. Rifle. Alright, Simba, time for you to go home. Uh, just go west. Uh, it's right, isn't it? Yeah, west. Yep, 270 for Simba. Alright, last rifle. Turn it in. Get the chop out of here. Okay. Last bomb run. Drop the bomb, get a chop out of there, man. Range. God. I'm out. Get the ch flare, 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 flare. You're well within man pad range. I was just idle when you used gravity. Idle when you used gravity. Come on, fly. Survive, survive. Oh, right on you. No, you're right. You're right. You're out of range now. You're fine. That was a mixed bag, viewers, but damn, we, we killed a lot. They were relatively hard to find. Uh, official kills, fly. He's about to kill seven if this hits. Well done. Simba, five. Nice. Me, four. Fire, one. And Poosh, I think, had one as well. And here's one slight problem with dropping from an A-10. It's that JDAM's going so slow. I'm not sure it's going to actually reach. Or maybe it is. It's basically oh, yeah, falling, it's, it's it falling will, straight down. It will. I, I've dropped or not in, on, on max yeah. range. Nice. Yeah, it's turning down now. All right. Again, absolutely atomize it. Well done, boys. Seven kills. That is 19, that's 26. All right, I'll meet you at home. Mr. Putin will not be happy. Sukhoi's are heading off home. A10's are halfway home for uh, the uh, AI. Boys are off target. Uh, and I am 15 miles out. Oh, I see it, I see it. I see it playing. Right, I need to get as light as I can. <laughs> Getting rid of my aluminium and flares. Anything superfluous has to go. Counter measure, counter measure, that is a weapon. Oh, it's much lighter without the bullets in, guys. Do you know, Cap, that actually the A10 is not uh, putting out the expanded casings of the gun. Ah, I don't know. Or wait because of weight problems, otherwise that thing would get too light in the front. Pull up, pull up. Set fire to the fuel bowsers. Alright. 
just saw an explosion on the symbol. Okay, let's play the fuel game. Uh, I thought I would run out of fuel in an A10. Mm -hmm. Right, well, I did warn you. I'm at a thousand. I'm on like 600. Right, if anyone knows how to land an A10, speak now. Uh, on its wheels? Huh. If you wanted to learn how to land an A10, you okay. could go to the Grim Reaper's Stoneburner server, where we have plenty of A10s in both the A, the C, and the C2 model at various locations for you to practice your touch and goes all you want. Amazing. Amazing feedback there, guys. Look at that, like a frigging... Like a ballerina, guys. I landed and stopped in the farm. Oh, that was amazing. All right. I I really like Cinder Segways. Not the Segways. I get comments about them. Ah, oh my god. Uh oh, mm -hmm. stuck. Bollocks! Right, well, I may cause an obstruction for you guys, but it's strictly a you problem. Well, I'm stuck in the friggin' mud. We can take out 25 tanks, but what we can't do is navigate some mild grass. Timber there, you can't land yet because of flight poles. You can't land until an intersection, and then the light poles stop. Oh, I should have not said that. That would have been super funny. Oh, I can see the light poles. You can see them. Right. Watch out for my sexy butt. Yes, I said it, my sexy butt. Had to be somewhat stranded. God, 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 don't do it, don't do it. It's still good, it's still good. There's nothing wrong with that. Absolutely nothing wrong with that at all. Yeah, just flip it back over. Ukrainian. One of your engines has stopped. I know, I did that. I marked the landing pad for you. That's important. Uh huh. What was that tent made out of? Probably the depleted uranium rounds that I was firing. Right, you got one shot of this, so don't mess it up. I.e. put your friggin' brakes out. Sing lands like I may lost months. all power. Use right. the reverse thrusters. Um, fly, fly, fly. Fortunate timing. This is not put it going down. to end well. You've got to put it down. You won't be able to go around. I can't get my gear down. Gears for friggin' oh, belly land. Bail out. Bail you... out, my boy. Are oh, you prat? I got this. Watch out for that tree! Interesting landing. It is very typically GR, so I suppose that's good. Don't try and make the radial, you won't make it. Put it on his okay, belly. I can't get my, my gear down at all, so... You know that might have to... With one engine out, you might have to do Spot. alternate extension. Spot no, they're me. both... Both engines are out? Yeah. yeah, both engines are gone now. You brat! You owe me an airframe. All right, viewers, it was very typically GR in that basically all of us died, but we did manage to kill 27 or something units, and I can't even remember what we were doing now. Oh, yeah, firing hammers and stuff. The hammers worked brilliantly um, from CH, just to say, by the way, viewers. Um, um, and we did sort of prove the concept of shutting down the SAM systems various ways and sniping. But I guess the real Ukrainians would have a bit more discipline than us. Next time I take 500 pounds more fuel with me. <laughs> yes, indeed. Bye-bye.